All right, are we back? Bitrate was set super super high, so it probably couldn't keep up with it. I did an auto optimize and it set it much lower, so that's probably what it was. All right, uh, meter. We need to set the meter um, range to be the same as audio, so that's gonna be. Set range from negative um, 96 to zero, I guess. And we need to constantly check. Let me know when you're back in chat. RMS. And what else do we need to do? We need to actually start the timer. Start timer. Um, I guess we could do milliseconds. I'm not really sure. Let's do 10 milliseconds. Let's build that. should be it let's see if it opens in logic <clears throat> looks like it scanned it oh logic is huge
Is our sound still good? See if this comes through. I need to add logic as an input. Okay. to make my um, output uh, I gotta no really slow Okay, I can hear that. So Logic Pro should, oh, not plugin manager. Should probably output to multi. Input doesn't really matter. Why am I unable to hear?
Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, let me make sure. Check, check, check. Yep. Okay, good. Yeah, the meter's a little slow. So I think we need to go back to the reset method. And maybe bring it down like halfway. Yeah, it still seems a little slow. What if we make it 50? Definitely better, but just a little too fast. So 0 0.1, 100 milliseconds probably will do it. And we need to think about the skew of the dial. So uh, or the slider because right now it's uh, linear from negative 96 to 0 and that's really not what we want it's so weird when I stop why does this keep going it's pretty weird um, one thing, let's go here. Let's say it moves by 0 0.1. We also need, uh, we can skew this. So what's the middle of the range in logic? Um, about 30? Oh, you know, zero is at the very top. Okay, so the middle is like 21. But that's from negative 60 to zero. So let's just copy that. So let's make this negative 60 to zero. And let's skew it. So we'll do meter dot set skew factor from midpoint. And uh, we'll say the midpoint is... Uh, Negative 21. Hmm. Oh, actually, I'm looking at the meter, and it's much slower than ours. So 
So I wonder if we were good where we were at like um five hundred. So I'm wondering if our scale factor from the midpoint is wrong. Because we kind of don't want it to reach the bottom of the slider too often. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Yeah, I think we're doing the opposite. So I think the skew factor needs to be a low number. <clears throat> I'm just using skew factor for midpoint because it's easy, but I bet the, uh, the conversion we really need is not going to be the same thing. Yeah, something doesn't seem right. I should be hitting negative six. So, I don't know. Let's not skew it and see what it, it looks like. Oh, I guess we are using RMS, so this this is probably peak. Yeah, that's probably what it is. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at the older project. And I know I had a peak one. Is RMS? Uh, so yeah. Oh, right. So yeah, instead of RMS. We can use, um, uh, yeah, instead of RMS, we can do get magnitude. And I think the arguments are the same. So let's just say this. I should say signal. And then let's stop it at 60. I guess that's it for now. I can't really tell what the issue is.
it still seems like it's slow. If we look at Logic's meter, when it goes up, it's really quick, and when it goes down, it's slower. So that's interesting. Um, and like, it seems like the scaling is not that. Crazy, like 21 is in the middle, where if it was linear, it'd be 30. Let's do this one more time. Meter dot set skew factor for midpoint. Um, Oh, it's worse. Yeah. That seems better. Yeah, that seems a lot better. Um, let's try this, make it a little slower. Okay, maybe a little too slow. Yeah. I think that's working pretty good. Okay, so I guess the next step would be to try to put 
uh, little numbers going up the slider to um, to mark the uh, values instead of using the actual text box. Um, don't usually have a text box, so uh, let's see. Text box. Oh, I can't see your whole message. And it's not in my chat box for some reason. I wonder why his message didn't get posted to my chat box. Yeah, I didn't watch that video yet. I need to. Um, looks really interesting. And I love all of his videos. So, yeah, I just haven't watched it yet. Text box outline. That ought to do it. Perfect. Okay. So let's see if we can get little numbers going up and down the slider. So we can do that in paint. Um, so we're going to draw text. And what I'm thinking is we can put um, one for like every three, maybe. So. Um, Let's see, for uh, what are we going to do? Yeah. I think this is the correct logic. Um, every three. Oh, wait, no, wait. Actually, yeah, I think that's correct. Okay. Um, Let's just start right now with like, um, I don't know, like a line or something like that. So this is going to be meter get x no get something. Oh uh, yeah, position of value returns the y or x coordinate of a value along the slider's length. Um, I, right, and then this will be maybe meter dot get y, and then um, the width and height. I'm not really sure. We could probably just put something like a few pixels. Um, Maybe even like four would be enough. And then justification juice, uh, justification, I guess, centered. 
Let's see what that looks like. This might be completely wrong. Or it could be good. Oh, I didn't set the color. Um, let's see. Yeah, let me just um, set color. I'll just use white for now. Hmm. Uh, let me get rid of this check for now, and that should eliminate a lot of the issues. Maybe I should make this 10 pixels. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, I wonder if, uh, they're in the way, if the slider is in the way. Mm, no. Oh, you know what? Does it have something to do with our resize? Get local balance with size keeping center. Maybe I should do something like this. I plus um, 100 and see if it ignore the loop altogether
Okay. I didn't like negative 60 to zero. coordinate of a value along the sliders length so how do you know which is width if it's a horizontal slider is it automatically X um, I guess it's possible that maybe paint is running before the constructor has finished setting the slider stuff. No, that shouldn't be it. say it's a horizontal slider. Let's see if this loop is even running correctly. I don't see how it wouldn't be. Oh, what? What? What is this nonsense?
<laughs> uh, okay. That's weird. All right. All right, let's see if uh, this works. Oh, apparently the slider. That's weird. Seem like it did. Okay. Oh, I wonder if the justification has something to do with it. Is there like a nun? We can also, um, let's draw a rectangle around the slider to see what the bounds are. it like that. Oh well, I mean we can uh we can kinda fix that as we go. I wanna see if this logic works, if I remember how to do that correctly. Yeah, seems like it. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, we'll say auto x is equal to juice live constant. Um, actually, I'll do 1.0. And then the same thing for. A y and this will be a multiplier to kind of put these things in the right position so times x and times y all right so let's deal with y real quick something like that and then, huh, this seems weird.
think they're flipped. I think this is this is zero, negative three, negative six. what it is because yeah Understand why it's it's spreading them out. This needs to be a whole number. pretty close so 215 I don't think that would um, translate well to when you're recycling the window though let's put the skew back in see what we get Okay, so we can update it again. Okay, two oh six. Let's uh, get rid of that. All right, I think that's uh, somewhat decent. I don't really know how to make it look better, 
Um, but that's kind of the basic logic of doing it and um, setting up the audio processor to do that. And I definitely do want to check out Akash's um, video because it's always recommended to me and I always put it on watch later. Uh, but yeah, cool. Well, that's meter. Not, uh, you know, completely the best meter you've ever seen, but you've kind of got an idea of how to go about it. Um, yeah. So that'll be it for me. Um, I guess I will be back Tuesday. Um, we got to figure out something else to start doing. Um, let's see. Could start working on another plugin. If anybody has like a DSP based uh, topic they want to go over, like maybe we could do a compressor or EQ or another distortion or you know something um let me know in the discord and if you're not in the discord go join it i have it open all day so if you have any questions uh, you can feel free to ask away and i can answer but yeah that'll be it for me so thanks a lot for watching and i will be back next time yep all right see you